spotlight tonight is Ashok Venkatesh from Derby, a deputy head teacher, and his specialist subject is Led Zeppelin. Laura Campbell from Oxford, a graduate student whose subject is the fiction of H.P. Lovecraft. Russell Turner from Norwich, a postgraduate student, and his subject is Gustav Landauer. And Diane Halligan from Leeds, an assistant accountant, and her subject, the Hercule Poirot novels of Agatha Christie. And welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. It's the second round stage, which means that tonight's four contenders are battling it out for a place in our grand final. It also means that sat amongst them could well be the next Mastermind. They're that close. So let's have our first contender, please. And your name is? Ashok Venkatesh. Your occupation? Deputy Head Teacher. And your chosen subject? Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin in two minutes. What was the name of the drummer who's credited with giving the band their name after he said that they would probably go down like a Led Zeppelin? Uh, Keith Moon. Yes, what was the title of the first Led Zeppelin album to be released on the band's own label, Swan Song? Uh, physical Graffiti. Correct. Two drummers took the late John Bonham's place when the band played at Live Aid. One was Tony Thompson. Who was the other? Phil Collins. Yes. What was the name of the Atlantic Records producer and executive vice president who played a major part in negotiating Led Zeppelin's global recording contract along with their manager, Peter Grant? Uh, Ahmed Ertegun. Jerry Wexler. In 1972, the band were refused permission to enter Singapore. For what reason? How was too long. Yes, in the summer of 1968, Jimmy Page and Peter Grant invited Robert Plant to join the band that was to become Led Zeppelin after seeing him performing with which group at a teacher training college in the Birmingham area? Hobbs Tweedle. Yes, which traditional folk ballad popularised by Led Belly and adapted by Page and Plant includes the lyric, Sister, I implore you, take him by the hand, take him to some shady bar, save me from the wrath of this man. Gallows Pole. Correct. What was the title of Led Zeppelin's in-concert feature film, which had its official premiere in New York in 1976? The song remains the same. Correct. Which female folk singer duets with Plant on the track The Battle of Evermore on Led Zeppelin 4? Sandy Denny. Correct. In October 68, at which venue did the band make their first live appearance after changing their name from The New Yardbirds? Surrey University. Yes, as well as the band members, who else features on the songwriting credits for the track when the levy breaks, having written and recorded it with her husband, Kansas Joe McCoy, in the 20s? Pass. Led Zeppelin broke their own record for the highest attendance at a single act concert when they played at which venue in 1977? Uh, Pontiac Silverdome. Correct. What's the real surname of the band's bassist, John Paul Jones? Baldwin. Yes, along with J.P. Lenoir, which legendary blues artist wrote the song You Shook Me that features on Led Zeppelin's first album, released in 69? Um, Willie Dixon. Yes, in which city was the band's seventh album presence recorded before being released in 76? Munich. Yes, which song is the opening track on the album Led Zeppelin 3 and includes the line Valhalla, I am coming? The Immigrant Song. Yes, for which instrumental track on the Coda album does John Bonamart start his all finish have the sole songwriting credit? Bonzo's Montreux. Bonzo's Montreux it is, the one you missed on, the one you passed on. It's Memphis Mini who also features on the songwriting credits for When the Levee Breaks. One pass, but Ashok Venkatesh, 15 points. <laughs> and finally, Ashok Venkatesh, please. Led Zeppelin, who were, by any standards, a very, very, very popular band. That's right. I think in their time, um, in many respects, they outsold the, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, the mm. Who, and so on, although they didn't have such a high public profile with the general public. And the extraordinary thing about their success in one way is that they didn't actually court publicity. No. Um, as I said, they compared very well in terms of their record sales to the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and so on, but they had a much lower public profile. Partly that was a deliberate ploy, if you like, by, by the band and their management to maintain a certain air of mystery. But also, I mean, Jimmy Page, the, their guitarist, was um, very keen on centering everything on the music. He didn't want to be, the band to be in the gossip columns every mm. week and have big specials and interviews in all the, uh, the newspapers. They'd rather have kept themselves themselves for people to concentrate on coming to the uh, concerts and buying the records, which they did in large numbers. Right, well, 15 points so far, 25, the score to beat. To which part of the body does the adjective hepatic refer? The liver. Yes, which legendary fictional lover made his first appearance in the play The Seducer of Seville, attributed to the 17th century Spanish dramatist Tirso de Molina? 
Casanova. Don Juan, what was the capital of Australia from 1901 until 27 when it was superseded by Canberra? Melbourne. Yes, in which place of worship are the tombs of both the Duke of Wellington and Lord Nelson? Uh, Westminster Abbey. St Paul's, which popular variety of green sprouting broccoli is named after a region of southwest Italy? Calabrese. Yes, in World War II, what name was given to the RF pilots who identified targets and dropped flares to guide the attacking force? Pass. The second of which composer's Hungarian Rhapsodies has featured in Tom and Jerry's Cat Concerto and Who Framed Roger Rabbit? List. Yes, also called the Honey Bear, the Kinkajou is a member of which animal family? A possum. Raccoon, which television comedy series features a local shop for local people run by Tubbs and Edward? The League of Gentlemen. Yes, in May 2004, in the first test against New Zealand, who became the first England batsman to score a century on his test debut since Graham Thorpe in 1993? Strauss. Yes, by what name is the United States Military Academy in New York State generally known? West Point. Yes, which organist, whose signature tune was I Do Like to Be Beside the Seaside, played at the Tower Ballroom Blackpool from 1930 to 69? Pass. On which island does the Owen Stanley mountain range rise to over 13,000 feet? New Zealand. New Guinea. Which actor was Carol Lombard married to when she died in a plane crash in 1942? Pass. Which West Midlands town has a zoo situated in the grounds of its castle? Dudley. Yes. Which great artists and scientists written works which include the Codex Atlanticus contain a variety of designs of flying machines and other modern looking devices? Leonardo. Yes. And ISO Hell is a line on a map joining points of equal amounts of what? Sunshine. Yes. Which politician became the MP for Dulwich and West Norwood in 1992? Pass. Which war began in December 1740 after the Habsburg monarch and Holy Roman Emperor Charles VI died without a male heir? Uh, Hundred Years' War. War of the Austrian Succession. In the context of the internet, what does the abbreviation HTML stand for? Hypertext Markup Language. Yes. What name derived from a mythical Greek king? I'll finish the question. Did Anders Ekberg give to the silvery grey metallic element he discovered in 1802 because of the difficulty he had in dissolving its oxide in acids? Cadmium? No, Tantalium. You had four passes. Tessa Jarl was the politician who became MP for Dulwich and West Norwood. Clark Gable was the one who married Carol Lombard. Reginald Dixon was the organ player. And those uh, RAF pilots who identified targets were known as pathfinders. But Ashok Benkatesh just got there. 26 points. <laughs> Oh, nail-biting stuff there, so let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place with 21 points, Diane Halligan. Third place with 24 points, Laura Campbell. Second place with 25 points, Russell Turner. First place with 26 points, Ashok Venkatesh. So we shall be seeing him again when he takes his place in our grand final. Congratulations. Do join us next time for more Masterminds and, of course, the grand final. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. If you'd like to be a contender on Mastermind, then please write to Mastermind, BBC Manchester, Oxford Road, PO Box 27, Manchester M60 1SJ or log on to our website bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind <laughs>